Look at this guy. It's a gym and they had a stage. Hi, I'm Liz and this is Charlie. We've spent the last two years traveling the US and Canada in our minivan Opal. We recently built out our tiny SUV Goat to more efficiently take you along with us to some of the lesser known hidden corners of the continent. So come along with us as we immerse you in nature, stories lost in time, and discoveries of buried treasures. Who knows what we'll find next? That's a farm, uh, a mobile farm unit right there for sure. Hi, I'm Betty. And I'm Juan. <laughs> and we're in the adventure closet. I think. <laughs> so too. <laughs> and today we are in the very far north. Dakota, the least visited state in the entire country, and the least visited area in the least visited state. And we're going to check out some very small towns and some very long back roads. So come along with us. Let's do it. just passed an old looking cemetery and there's a building next to it that looks a little dilapidated so we're uh, we're gonna check it out. We slammed on the brakes and pulled off the highway and let's, yeah. let's check this out. I wasn't recording but it went skrrr! Yeah. Cemetery, let's check it out! Let's go! Oh, that's cool. Yeah, wonder if this was a house or a school. Probably oh, there's only one house. window. Yeah, it is interesting. There's hardly any windows. I'll look at the other side over here. There's a chimney coming out the top up there. Oh, that's a very short chimney too. Yeah. There is a spot to go under the fence. Yeah, if you want some ticks. Oh yeah, we're back in tick country, aren't we? We are back in tick country. Are they as much of an issue in the fall, even though it's like early fall? I don't know. How cool is that? Gosh, I'd love to hop under that fence. Well. Should we do it, guys? I don't see no, no trespassing signs. We gotta watch for snakes and we gotta watch for angry farmers. Angry farmers. Is that worse than ticks? Um, I don't know. Can be. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised by one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm coming. I don't know if I can do the same. Oh, maybe I can. Ooh. I love this peeling paint. Oh my gosh, was this a church? There's like 
theater seats in here. Hello. There's still furniture in here. Sorry. <laughs> Don't scare oh, me. Oh, it was a school. Oh my gosh. There's a classroom. Dawn, we found you a super cool old school. She's our Patreon member. Wow. Who loves old school houses. Oh my gosh. There's still like a roll top desk in here. It smells a lot like uh, rodent feces in here. Wow, this is incredible. 1982 information handbook for precinct election officials. A lot of voters' affidavits, instructions to voters. Wow. This is cool. That smells bad in here. Yeah, it's definitely smells like rodent feces. There's a bird's nest on top of the light fixture. Well, this is probably where the kids ate lunch. <laughs> Wisdom Guide to Service Specialists. This newspaper is um, May 10th, 1952. That's cool. <laughs> How awesome is this? It's a good first stop. Yeah. Last year of school here was 1951, first grade. Yeah, me too. All right, this is awesome. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, all right, let's check out the cemetery a little bit. I'm seeing a lot of newer uh, stones here, so not sure if this is a very old one. But we'll check it out and see. This is the Bethel Cemetery. Johnson family, Anderson family, Drag Seth. Thanks, Google. Drag Seth, more Drag Seth over here. So far, this is the oldest one we've found. Knut Johnson. Actually, back in these bushes here, you can barely even see these anymore. Uh, December 7th, 1910. Peter Solberg. And then there's another one right here. Another sober, but can't really see who it is. Another sober in the bushes here. Hannah. 1885 to 1921. So that's not even 40. 20, yeah. Shouldn't even make it to 40. And then there's a couple, like buried in here that you can't even see 1917 infant son of Carl Solberg August 29th 
1917. And then over here, 1946, Carl Solberg. Carl with a K on this one, Carl with a C on the infant son of Carl. Interesting. This is uh, GOAT, a RAV4. We've been traveling in it from Washington all the way here to North Dakota. She's small, but we've been growing quite accustomed to sleeping in her, living out of her these past several days. Just found a little egg in the grass. What kind of bird do you think that guy, that is? Oh, well, there's two of them. A P P A M. So this town is A P A M. A P A M. A P P A M. A P P A M. I'll have to look up the population of it. If it's if it's even a census designated yeah. town, um, <laughs> it does not have paved streets. Uh, hopefully, this goes through. I don't know if it does. I think it does circle through. And it looks like this is like the old town part that we're going to be driving through the heart of right here. This is where the Bethany Lutheran Church used to be. But it's no longer there. It's a cool old trailer. Yeah, that's an old trailer. This, oh, it says something on the thing. Hen Hendrickson Brothers Hardware. And this is the APAM State Bank oh, over wow. here. How neat is that? No trespassing. See, at least there's signs there. Yeah. Uh, this town is over 100 years old. There's a sign that's all crumpled up here. 1916 to 2016. There was the dandy hall. Uh, oh, dance hall. Oh, dance hall. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I'm, sure, dandy. I'm sure it was a dandy dance hall. Probably. I wonder what took these down. Probably fire. The ones that aren't there. And does this have a name? Unless this was the dance hall. Could be. No sign on this one unless it's over here now. Yeah, it might have been the dance hall. How cool. How cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it says APAM Hotel right here. Oh. Okay. The APAM Hotel. Gosh. It... This was a big town at one point. Yeah. Huh. Cool. I wonder what we'll find next. Yeah. All right, so we learned the town of Apem. It's it's a ghost town now. Um, looked like there was a few uh, current residents, and it was settled in 1916, uh, largely Scandinavian people. Along the Great Northern Railroad. Yeah, and uh, I actually learned there's a an author, a short story author that uh, wrote stories uh, during the Great Depression. There, um, I forgot the title of it already, but. Yeah, that was kind of neat to envision uh, people during the Great Depression settling up here, trying to make a living off of farming and uh, 
the railway. The Great Northern Railroad made the town boom a little, it's the reason it existed, but they rerouted it in around 1920. So really in the height of the Great Depression, it lost its lifeline. So, you know, it makes you wonder like how many people remained, how many people scattered at the time that it was alive, it had over a hundred residents. Now it maybe has five. And are those five people there because their, their ancestors stayed after the train left? I don't know, so many questions in this one little tiny spot in northern North Dakota. Makes you think. Oh, there's an old house right out there. I wonder if we can get there. <laughs> we are coming up on a really cool old homestead. It's huge. Yeah, we saw this off the side of the road. There's signs right there saying no trespassing. There's probably gonna be signs up here saying no trespassing, but we can look at it from afar. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in just in case we can't get closer. Wow. That's nice. Yeah, so it is posted no trespassing. Okay. But we'll get some, some cool shots of it. Yeah. And I just want to pull back to give you guys perspective of the landscape that we're in here. This is middle of the nowhere. Middle of the nowhere. Like this is what they mean, <laughs> middle of nowhere. Ain't nothing for miles. Oh, Ooh, I see flames out there. So we're gonna go off the off the beaten path. So off off the beaten path to check out this next little town. I'm just literally going by Google Maps and looking and seeing town names. And there's one called I think it's Corneth. Corneth. It literally looks like one street town, but it's five miles off of the the old road here that we're on now and uh, we're gonna check it out and there may actually even be nothing there um, but I kind of want to see you know that's this is our, our goal for the day is to check out these little tiny towns and see see what's what's out there and what's left it's a part of the American West that you don't see very often and a huge part of our American history here. The northern part of the Great Plains. Like, you had to be pretty hardy to homestead out here in the Great Plains. It's just these rolling hills of grasslands and extreme weather conditions. There ain't no Walmarts or 7-Elevens nearby. <laughs> yeah, we had to make sure we topped off our gas before going into this area. Made sure we had our tire puncture kit and everything because uh, we don't even know if there's cell service out here. So far it's just a bunch of oil rigs and a couple of dilapidated old towns and buildings. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I'm excited about this day.
All right, let's see if I can get up to the window because I want you guys to look at these kitchen cabinets. Oh my gosh, there's still a jar sitting there. Look at that. That looks like a hutch of sorts. Wow. Maybe Charlie, he's got longer arms. He could probably get a better shot. Oh my gosh, there's a downstairs. And there's an upstairs. Man, this house has seen a lot of storms. Probably a lot of good times and a lot of bad times too. And now it's right next to an oil field. Bye old house. We're gonna go find something else cool. Out along the prairie. Bye crater house. Now we're checking out this other town that uh, Charlie saw on the map. I looked it up. It looks like it's pretty similar to the last town built, uh, or it was founded in 1916 um, and had about 100 residents and then uh, kind of busted around 1920. And uh, the town has pretty much been a ghost town ever since, but the post office remained until 1969. And uh, there is one resident in the town right now that's kind of uh, taken over half the town, but there's still apparently a lot of old buildings still left. So I'm excited to check this out. Corinth, North Dakota. Is this way? Yeah. Oh, is that the town? Yeah. So we just talked to a uh, North Dakota resident that grew up around he, this area and he said that we're six weeks too late. The owner of these, this property here, these big dirt piles are where he's buried the remnants of the town. Uh, he bulldozed them down and pretty much buried them. So that's kind of sad. Yeah, but I guess it was bringing in rodents and causing other issues, so. Yeah. You had to take them down. But uh, there was, yeah, there was a general store and. A com community hall and an um, underground uh, church. Post office. Yeah, post office. He said that was all here six weeks ago. And now it's gone. But yeah, it's kind of sad that we're six weeks too late. Yeah. It's just piles of dirt now. Yeah. All right, on to the next one. Yeah. Nice little furnace there. Yeah. Oh, looks like there's another one up the road. Look at this house in the bushes. 
we're hoping that we can get to it. Wow. Doesn't look like anybody's been there a long time. No. So enticing, it's just no hunting, no trespassing. But there's nobody here. Okay, so it do seems like there isn't a soul around. Um, we're definitely going to heed the signs, we're not going to trespass, but doesn't mean we can't fly the drone. <laughs> I think if there was somebody here, we wouldn't fly the drone just for their privacy, though. Holy crap, you guys. So Charlie's flying his drone to look at that old house, and I'm looking at rocks on the road here. I found an agate. Oh, did I find an agate. Holy smokes. I gotta get this wet. Hold on. Check that out. Carnelian agate, baby. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep looking on this road. You guys, why do I not have a spray bottle? I did it again. I found an agate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. This is the Hamlet School. Looks like the roof is missing. This is in the town of Hamlet. Apparently has about five residents here. Brick by brick. There's a part of a dead garter snake right here.
You can see where the old chalkboard was. Part of the old uh, furnace. It's probably piped through all these tubes and vents to heat this place in the winter. I don't think we're allowed to go in. So, I'm just standing outside the door and I'll let you guys take a look through here. Besides, I would probably get some serious tetanus from all the boards <laughs> and nails that have fallen over the years. this side real quick oh my gosh it's the gym wow look at this guy it's a gym and they had a stage it's an old basketball backboard wow you can see the other hoop over there this is cool I wonder, I wonder how many plays and dances and everything have been held in this. How many memories have been made? How many first kisses were on this dance floor? That's cool. How many wallflowers there were? <laughs> Yeah, I'd be I'd be right over there in the corner. <laughs> Just, you know, bobbing up and down a little bit. Too afraid to go out and dance. Too afraid to go out and ask the girls. That's cool. This is awesome. Yeah, be careful. There's a lot of glass and nails and stuff right here. There's a little bit of the roof left. Yeah, on this side. <laughs> we couldn't find any info on this school, but uh, that's really cool. The fact that it's in such good shape on the outside. Yeah, it's so big. I, I need to know when this was built. Liz needs to know when this was built. Hamlet School in Hamlet, North Dakota. Let us know. Here's the old walkway into the school. <laughs> Fenster's timeshare. Hamlet, North Dakota. <laughs> That's cool. And this is the entire town of Hamlet. Yeah, I think this is just a private residence at this point. Uh, it's population five, I think, is what I read. Huh. Look at that little building. That's cool. Oh yeah, five mailboxes. <laughs> Population five. And that's it. What's this old building right here? Um, it's 
See that one at the end of the road? Yeah, it's like an old barn or something. Interesting. All right. Well, that, that was That fun. was so fun. Oh my gosh. Those places were pretty cool and we just have scratched the surface. We might do another video like this uh, uh, on the next video, but those places were really cool. Yeah, that was amazing and it really shows going off the beaten path is the way to find adventure. It really is. Like, we found things that weren't roped off, like, it's just so cool. It is. So cool. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, check us out on Patreon, and we will see you next time. Bye now. Bye now. Hi, I'm Betty. I'm Alex. <laughs> and we're the odd couple. No, I don't want to be Hi, I'm Betty. And I'm Alexander. And we're the Wait, Orange no, Couple. I don't be Alexander either. Hi, I'm Tina. And I'm Joseph. Hi. I'm Felix. And I'm Xavier. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rose. And I'm Wanda. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tim. And I'm Tom. <laughs> I'm Dorothy. And I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Charlie. And I'm Charlie. Hi. I forgot my name. And my name's Bob. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lillian. And I'm Jebediah Josephine. The third. The third. <laughs> oh, you're the third. I'm Lillian the seventh. Oh, okay. <laughs>